you know, people ask me, hey, Anthony, what do you do? And I'm like, oh, I'm a student researcher um, on a NASA space mission. And then they're like, what? What the heck? Like, are you serious? I'm like, yeah, you know, it, we're funded by NASA. Um, you know, we interact a lot with them. Essentially, the way it works is, you know, we have questions, we need guidance, we'll ask them. I'm currently the lead of the fabrication subteam. So, when the fabrication subteam is, well, we make the physical components of the satellite. When I, when I walk through the doors, I go into the lab and basically we're, we have like a schedule of parts. Like they send us parts one by one and we have to make them and we know which ones are working on. So I open up the doc, I open up the file of which part I'm working on. If it's already ready to be machined, then I go straight to the machine, set up the parts and then just one by one hit one setup and do another setup in order to make the part. So the first step we have to do is We have to probe the part, which means we have to define. We have to tell the machine exactly where the part is in the setup so that it knows how to cut it. I just decide like around 0.2 inches above, I'll keep it. That way, when we run the code, it knows exactly where to go. So that goes into what I do. So I'm structures lead I'm, and I'm the lead mechanical engineer. So on the structures side of things, I manage you know, the chassis, make sure components do integrate well with our chassis, things that essentially do things fit. So I kind of go in, you know, make sure everyone's on track. You know, my job as lead mechanical engineer is to make sure that we meet our deadlines, make sure that the mechanical side of things gets done when they need to get done. So I kind of go in and make sure that, you know, if, if for whatever reason we get stuck in one area, I'll focus on that area. Otherwise, I'm kind of just overseeing everybody. We want to be in the aerospace industry, and this is the best thing I could possibly be doing because it's basically like I have a job in industry already. I mean, I've learned a lot personally. I've been lucky enough to get flown out to NASA um, bases out in Virginia. You know, interacted one on one with these NASA engineers. These are like you know, best in the world, like best of their field, and they're just like, hey, you know what? Like, you're a student. You know, this is a great experience. You're learning a lot. We'll show more design, and they'll tell us, you know, where our flaws are. Uh, where we can improve on and even then like sometimes we'll surprise them sometimes they'll say hey you know this is a really good way of doing it like maybe we should even do it this way 